The United States Census of Population is a good starting point to begin your genealogical research after gathering information from your family. Census records put a person in a specific place at a specific time. There are a few points to consider before getting started. It has been conducted every 10 years since 1790 and is mandated by the United States Constitution. 72 years must pass in order for the names to be released. Therefore, the 1940 census is the latest available and in 2022 the 1950 census will be released. 1790 through 1930 are available on microfilm and through online databases. 1940 is primarily available through online databases and is not widely distributed on microfilm. Some of the early census records for some states have been lost. Most of the 1890 census was destroyed after a fire in the early 20th century. The census is arranged by state, county, and township or other county division. People were sometimes missed in the census, while other people may appear more than once in the same year. As you work with the censuses, check all the census schedules within an ancestor's lifespan. Proceed backwards in time when researching each ancestor. Remember that the census taker often wrote down the names as they sounded, which could be quite different from the spellings as you know them. Keep in mind also that the indexers of the census, both print and online indexes, may misinterpret old handwriting. Therefore, you will want to search for a variety of spellings if you have difficulty locating the ancestor in a census. Be sure also to look at the original census image. Don't rely on the indexer's transcription. What the census tells you about an ancestor will depend upon the year of the census. The questions varied from decade to decade, but usually you can find age, race, occupation, and place of birth. Here are some key dates to remember when looking at the census. 1790, the year of the first United States Census. 1850, the first year everyone in the household was listed by name. 1870, first year all formerly enslaved people were listed by name. 1880, first time relationship to the head of household was given. 1900, listed the month and year of birth. 1910, the number of years married, number of children born, and number still alive, and immigration information. 1930, age at first marriage and veteran status. 1940, the latest census available. Not only can you find information about your ancestor, but you might also be able to find out about other family members and future spouses by examining the roughly 12 families that appear before and after your ancestor's family. People didn't move far from their community and generally married someone who lived nearby. So, if you have hit a brick wall in your research, Carefully examine everyone in the neighborhood in which your ancestor lived. There are several ways to access United States Census records for your genealogical research. Use websites such as Ancestry.com, HeritageQuest.com, or FamilySearch.org, which have digitized census records from the National Archives. You can visit your local public library or local family history center to gain free access to these online databases or to view microfilm. Visit a state archives or state library. Plan a trip to the National Archives or one of their regional facilities. Once you have located your ancestor in the United States Census of Population records, you can then embark on the hunt to find additional information that will tell the story of your ancestor's life. And maybe along the way you'll find a few surprises too. Thank you.